I'll, d- I'll just go and talk a little bit, John, about social media and um, okay. sound again, because uh, we're not we're not twittering just at the moment. Um, w e n o t n o on Twitter, but for various reasons, it's not working out so well at this time. Why? Well, the lay the layout the layout of the studio, John, just the way that we got. Oh, the t- oh yeah. The, so sorry, that, sorry. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. There's that, there's that keyboard. It's nothing to do with Twitter. Well, well, it's to do with that as well. Because oh, okay. it keeps it keeps um, raising questions about security and access and all sorts of things. So right. I right. think um, W E N O T N O may become a hashtag. It's possible. I see. Um, but we'll see how that how that goes how that goes on. Um, but I'll ju- I'll just explain. It, it's partly following on with Bet because one of the things John John didn't uh, see in in, re- in reality or at, at Excel was the way the universities aspect of BET has grown mm. so, so it's always been schools but they've got a head by BET now they've got a, 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 a whole area which is aimed at universities yeah because they've they've always been there but they've been sort of lurking mm. they there has there hasn't been an area for them Right, but that is that is that is growing, mm. and um, I think before, well, maybe maybe in maybe in the autumn we'll try we'll try and sort out a bit how different ideas we're following fit fit in with 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 Bet from a a university point of view. Right. So there's a, there's a couple of hashtags. Um, Edux is. A festival that's just just finished, but there's going to be more more content coming out from that, and I think that will continue uh, during the during the start of the next academic year, sort of October November time. So that's that's based in based in Exeter, and also Unicorn Uni is is the hashtag that I've 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 got. I'm not sure if there's an official hashtag, but there's research coming up from uh, Lancaster. Right, and then this is definitely an official hashtag, DCDC23, which is uh, communities and collections in in Durham, and I'll, I'll say a bit more about that next next week. Um, but the one I want to mention especially is Gutenberg in brackets. Um, Twitter doesn't recognise the brackets; it doesn't show it as a hashtag it's following. But if you search on Gutenberg in brackets, so ha- hash sign open brackets Gutenberg close brackets, that that does does work. And the the the, the reason I'm, pl- I'm plugging that John is that I think that's going to end up with voice. Right. There's a, there's a book called the Gutenberg Parenthesis, which was launched in the States last week, and I think it's out in the UK at the end of the month. Right. But there was a, there was a talk on Monday, yeah. um, Jeff Jarvis in in London, which I think might be online, quite sometime soon. Mm. It's possible. Mm. Um, what he's saying is that the whole the whole print thing, that Gutenberg with m- movable type um, introduced, yeah, ha- was a, a particular stage in time, mm. uh, which is now coming to an end or has come to an end. Yeah, and. Storytelling will move on to uh, a much more flexible approach. Sure. So it it it's, it goes back to the the scribes who were doing uh, illustrated manuscripts. Right. And before that, to just voice story storytelling. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, if that's so, I think it might have further to go because the the the, the talk. Um, that I heard on Monday was was hosted by Alan Rusbridger, right? And they 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 got into sort of social media journalism, but it was it was still pretty text orientated. I think mm. they 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 were sort of moving away from the fixed book or the highly edited newspaper, more into blogs and right. tweets and comments and stuff. Right. But it it wasn't just voice gossip. Okay. I mean, although the the conversation was by the time they let the questions come in, right? Uh, I, 
And the, the, the other thing is that this Gutenberg parenthesis idea comes from, although Jeff Jarvis is relating it to journalism, the, the whole thought about it comes more from storytelling, the ballad, um, what, whatever, what is now understood about medieval stories. Right. So what I'm what I'm going to hope what I hope I'm going to do is is talk to Widsif and Deal. You know the storyteller. Yes. Um, who we've we've come across because he 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 used to do the drama show on a Thursday, so we we've, we've met him a few times. Mm. Um, he has described the riddles. There's 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 an Exeter book, which is a medieval book. Mm. Which is still in the cathedral, mm -hmm. which includes riddles. Right. And my guess is that those riddles were once upon a time just voice. I see. People asked each other riddles and okay. gave the answer. Right. As sound. Right. We don't have any recordings from 1400s, <laughs> but I'm I'm suggesting that it, that might have happened. <laughs> Maybe. A lot of things happen in the 1400s and 1800s. We think. Yeah, we think. <laughs> we think. Th this is the We Don't Know show. <laughs> yeah. we, but we, know. we know as much as anybody about voice recording in 1400. <laughs> we do indeed, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, anyway. Uh, and if, if we're able... The, the storyteller is moving about. He's, he currently lives in France, but he is in the UK. Right. And if we can locate him, and which, well, Whitsworth and Dior Theatre, um, this is our plan, is to, is to find them right. and ask them about the riddles and ask them to speculate about voice storytelling before and after Gutenberg. Okay. And um, you see, the other thing I would say is that I don't think universities understand how much print technology has influenced what they do. Mm. They talk about technology enhanced learning as if print and text uh, wasn't technology. It was just part of the furniture somehow. Right. Which I'm not sure that's true at all. No. All right, well, I'm going to play a song from Ultra Bridge, Coming Home. Um, yes, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> 